Hi you guys, welcome back to another video. I fixed my lighting. Does it look good? Does it look better? Because the last video, the last get ready with me, y'all, the lighting was atrocious. I Y'all didn't say nothing about it. I was just like distraught. It looked insane. <laughs> like what was wrong? Anyways, I hope the lighting is better in this video. Welcome back to another video, y'all. If y'all are new, hi, my name is Shani Stevens. I do beauty, fashion, and lifestyle content here on my channel, and I'm also a makeup artist based here in North Carolina. So if you're interested in any of that, definitely come back and watch more videos and subscribe before you leave. So in today's video, I have a beauty maintenance video for you guys. I'm going to be getting a pedicure, doing my hair, getting into face grooming. I'm doing my brows. Um, I'm also going to be dermaplaning my face and all that good stuff. So if you guys are interested in today's video, let's go ahead and get into it. And thank you so much, Yulisa Hair, for sponsoring today's video and providing this beautiful U-part unit. Y'all thought, thought it was my hair? No. If you're new here, just know I, I does this. I do this when it comes to my hair. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and get into today's video. So I'm starting off my beauty maintenance routine with going to get a pedicure and I just had to catch the scenery for you guys because it was absolutely beautiful. And the salon that I go to is Coco Nail Bar and I've been going here for years. I'll try to put the address and everything down below for those of you that live in the Fayetteville, North Carolina area and i also used to get my nails done here as well when i was getting them done but this is a really pretty and nice location and it's pretty chill and i never have any problems with getting a appointment so i do try to take like one day out of the month to come here and get a pedicure and just chill and then once i'm done with my pedicure i'm gonna head over to ulta and look for some body butter of course i was just browsing around and looking at other stuff like perfume and just makeup and skincare in general but i was specifically going to ulta to shop for body butter because i've been feeling like my lotion isn't moisturizing me enough maybe it's the pollen maybe i need to drink more water but that's what i was shopping for <laughs> Moving into my hair, I'm going to be wearing this U-Part wig from Yolisa Hair. So I'm going to start off with the Red Can All Soft Shampoo and rinse that out. I don't really use the shampoo anymore on my natural hair, um, but I'm just using it on my units until I run out. So I'm going to rinse that out. And then I'm also going to go in with It's a Tin Soak Shampoo and shampoo my hair with that and rinse it out. Now, once all of the shampoo is rinsed out of the unit, I'm gonna go in with the All Soft Conditioner and condition the hair, and then I'm also going to let the conditioner sit in this wig for about 10 minutes. So it's been about 10 minutes and I feel like the unit feels soft. So I'm going to go in and rinse all of the conditioner out of this wig. Now that this unit is washed, conditioned, and clean, I'm going to go through and try to get that excess water out of the wig before I start the blow drying process because I don't want this wig dripping wet when I start the blow dry process because then it's gonna take forever. So yeah, I'm gonna take this towel and just let it soak up all of the water that is in there um, and then I'll go in and blow dry. Okay, so now that the unit has all of the excess water out of it, I'm gonna go in with the Design Essentials Natural Hair Agave and Lavender Blow Dry and Silk Press Collection <laughs> Blow Dry and Styling Primer. And then I'm also going to go in with the Redken 25 Benefit One United All-in-One Multi-Benefit Treatment. And they're both um, heat protectants and they both cut like my drying time in half. I don't know if it really cuts my drying time in half because it really does take forever for me to blow dry these units. So I'm not sure if it really like 
cuts the drying process in half, but I like using them as a heat protectant just to make sure I'm kind of caring for my units. I don't want to like completely destroy and burn my units, so I like to use the same products that I use on my hair sparingly. So now I'm just going to go through and section off this unit and starting with the back first, I'm going to blow dry that section out starting with the dimming brush but then the dimming brush wasn't doing what I wanted it to do it wasn't smoothing the hair out like smooth because when I blow dry the hair out I want the crinkles to come out I want it to look like relaxed hair so like I said I switched to a different brush and I think this is from Ion I'm not sure but I got it from Sally's and I'm just using this to smooth out the hair even more and y'all see how this mannequin head won't stay up like <laughs> irritating me like I want you to stay up like stop moving your head now I understand how my mom felt when I kept moving my head when she used to braid my hair when I was little because why was this mannequin moving you messing up what I'm trying to do stay still please hold your head so I'm just gonna keep slowly but surely making my way through this unit and blowing everything out and smoothing the hair out as smooth as I can get it um, and I think this took me about an hour maybe 45 minutes but i feel like it took me about an hour so yeah it does take a little bit of time to blow dry this unit out um, and then i also just let it sit overnight to make sure this unit is completely dry and now moving into the next day i'm going to go ahead and wash my hair to wash my hair i'm going to be using this design essential agave and lavender blow dry and soap press collection and i'm using the entire collection step one two three and four so that's what I'm going to be using to blow my hair back out today. So yeah, I'll just let you guys watch. Moving into conditioner, I'm taking this Design Essentials Natural Hair Agave and Lavender Blow Dry and Silk Press Collection Moisturizing and Detangling Conditioner. And it does that. It, it strengthens, it smooths. This is such a good hydrating conditioner. It's actually insane how much I love this conditioner now this conditioner does tell you to leave it in for one to three minutes i left this in for 20 minutes because i just felt like my hair needed it like y'all see how these knots are forming i just felt like my hair needed this conditioner to be left in my hair for a little bit longer and i didn't feel like doing a deep conditioner because the deep conditioner is heavy and when I wash my hair with deep conditioner, that's a different routine and that happens on a different day. So yeah, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> my hair needed to be hydrated a little bit more. So I just left this in for 20 minutes. So I just put this plastic cap over it, tucked all of my ends into the shower cap, set my timer for 20 minutes exactly, and moved into everything under the sun when it comes to skincare, skin maintenance, and grooming. So I'm starting off with this face wash from LMS and i wanted to wash my face because i was in the shower and i didn't know what was on my face from like the products i was using so i'm washing my face with this product and i'm probably going to do it for about maybe two minutes three minutes i'd be sitting here washing my face for a long time because i want to give this face wash time to actually work so i feel like it takes about a minute for it to like get into my skin and do what it needs to do and then i also like to sit here and massage my face and then i just be getting lost in the fact that it feels good so i just i really be sitting here just washing my face i don't know i really like washing my face don't y'all like washing your face <laughs> and then i bring it down onto my neck and my chest because i feel like the skin on my decolletage area and my boob area. I feel like it's thinner than my face skin. So I feel like I need to show that some tender love and care as well. So I'm using my skin products on my chest area because yeah, I feel like I need to. And now I'm gonna rinse all of that face wash off and move right into grooming my brows because I feel like I do my brows better when they're wet. So I'm just brushing them down and all of the hairs that's going over that arch. I'm gonna take these curved scissors and take my time and trim the hairs that are too long off. I'm literally just going to use my arch as a guide as to how much hair to trim off. I'm not going into the arch. 
I'm literally just going on the outside where the hairs are exposed. If I can see the hairs laying over that arch, I'm trimming it off. So yeah, I'm gonna take my time and trim my brow hairs and then I'm gonna take these Elemis facial pads and cleanse my face and get off that excess hair from my brows. And I'm also going to use these facial pads to cleanse my face so that I can move into arching my brows with a shaver. And I'm gonna use that same shaver to dermaplane or shave my face, whatever you wanna call it. Um, I'm just removing the top layer of maybe dead skin or um, hair. I'm, I'm mainly just removing hair from my face. So now I'm just going back into shaving and shaping my brows. And then after I'm done with my brows, I'm gonna go into shaving and dermaplating my face and i'm using the fresh spray to keep my face moisturized and slippery so that i don't cut myself So it's been about 30 minutes. I know I said I was gonna leave this in my hair for 20 minutes, that's what I set my timer for. And when the timer went off, I wasn't really done with my facial care. So I just let the conditioner in until I was done with my face. So this is how my hair is looking. It feels a lot more moisturized. I feel like the conditioner has had a chance to sink into my hair and now I'm ready to detangle because before, while I was in the shower, it just, the knots, or like do not detangle me right now because I feel like I was gonna be ripping my hair out and I don't have that much hair y'all I don't have that much hair so I'm not trying to rip no hair out I'm trying to keep all of the strands so now I'm gonna go through and section off my hair in like four sections and detangle my hair and then get back into the shower and I'll just let you guys watch that whole process I don't want to keep talking throughout this whole video because I want it to be like you know chill and relaxing <music> Okay, now that my hair is all detangled, I'm gonna put this shower cap back on my head because I wanna clean up a little bit before I hop back in the shower and rinse this out and actually take a shower. Um, but I'm straightening up my bathroom before I get back in the shower because I know once I get out of the shower, I'm gonna go into blowing my hair out. So I just want to make sure the bathroom stays clean so I'm cleaning up as I go. So that's what I'm doing. Now let's go ahead and get back in the shower and rinse this conditioner out because at this point it's been in my hair for maybe 45 minutes. So I'm back in the shower and I'm just going to undo these buns and then I'm going to individually untwist the twist and make sure all of the conditioner gets out of my hair because I don't want this conditioner to be left in my hair because it's going to mess up my blowout. It's going to make it stiff so I'm making sure all of the conditioner is out of my hair. Now that all of the conditioner is out of my hair, I'm gonna twist my hair back up in its four sections, put my shower cap on and take a quick shower. I'm not gonna include that in this video because I just wanted to do like a maintenance type thing in this video, not like a whole shower routine. So if you guys want a shower routine, even though I really don't be doing the most in the shower, just let me know because I haven't done one in a minute. Anyways, getting outside of the shower, I'm gonna go into putting heat protectant in my hair and then we're gonna go in and blow my hair back out.
All right, so I have a brief intermission. I need to go clean up and I also have to go do something, but I'm gonna keep my hair like this for right now because I don't have time to braid it down and then do the unit. Um, I got done blow drying my hair at like 4.03 and I started at 3.05 so it took me roughly an hour to blow dry my hair all out. So yeah, I will resume this get ready with me once I get back. So this is how the inside of the unit is looking. Pretty traditional U-part wig and I'm going to be wearing it as a middle part. Usually I turn my U-parts over to a side part. But I was like, let me just wear the unit as it's supposed to be worn. Because majority of the time when I do turn it over to a side part, I always have to like tweak the wig a little bit because it's not meant to be put in a side part. Have y'all noticed that majority of like U part, V part units are middle parts. They're not meant to be worn in a side part, which is why all of my units, if I do turn them to a side part, they end up uneven because it's a middle, I don't know. If y'all know about a company that sells a U-part unit and it's made to be worn in a side part, preferably a left side part because that's how I usually wear my parts, you know? Yeah, let me know because I haven't came across a company that sells a U-part side part unit. Anyways, this is how the hair is looking. I'm brushing it out. I showed y'all the top of the wig. It's literally a traditional, normal U-part wig. It is very flat though. That's what I can say. It's flat. It's not heavy or anything like that. I think I got the hair in one, 180 density. Y'all know I don't like anything above like 180 because it'd be too much hair for me. But yeah, this is perfect for me. And now I'm just figuring out how much leave out I'm going to be leaving out. So I put the wig on my head and I make a mental note as to where the wig is sitting. And then I take off the wig and part my leave out out. And it usually comes out accurate every single time. Did I say that right? Accurate? Yeah. <laughs> it usually comes out pretty good every single time. And then once I get my leave out parted and sectioned out of the way, I'm going to pull all of my hair back into a ponytail and then put the wig back on my head to double check and make sure the leave out is enough for the wig. So this is how the wig is looking placed on top of my head. And I like it, so I'm gonna go and take this wig off and start my whole braid down process so that I can make sure this wig is secured and it has like a braid to anchor itself onto. And then once I have those two anchor braids outlining my leave out, I'm gonna go ahead and do whatever and braid the rest of my hair down. I didn't really get too much of that footage because I've done this I feel like I've done this before and I showed y'all this before I'll probably link a video for you guys if you guys are interested in the braid down process but honestly I just basically did an anchor braid outlining my leave out and just braided the rest of my hair down that's it <music> So this is the braid down that I came up with this go around and it doesn't look the best, but honestly, nobody's going to see it except for y'all, you know? And then I'm just taking those three cornrows and braiding them together and then I'm going to tie it off with a hair tie so that it does not loose out. Okay, so the braid down is done. I'm going to go ahead and put the unit on top of my head and attach the top of the unit to my anchor braid. So now that the top of the wig is secured, I'm gonna move on to the sides of the wig and secure those combs into my braids and also push the comb in the back of the wig up into the back of my braids. So the unit is on and secured and it looks so good, but I have some bends in it, so I'm just gonna blow it out. And then that's going to be it for tonight because y'all, even though I love the getting ready with me process and the maintenance process, it it's a process and it takes a long time. So that's going to be it for tonight and I'll come back in like two days and get into my eyelash extensions. Okay, so I'm back and we're going to go ahead and get into these lashes. I got these from Amazon. They are listed on my Amazon storefront, but I will also list them down below in my description box so that you guys can get your hands on these lashes because they are top tier. Like these lashes look so good without makeup. 
and that's like the issue that I was running into. I would find these lashes that look good with makeup, but when I didn't have makeup on, they looked crazy. So I finally found some lashes. That, shout out to Leah because she had these in her videos and I was like, mm, those look cute. And then I ordered them and I was like, yeah, these are it. So yeah, these lashes are so good. They're not dramatic at all, but they're also dramatic enough for when I am wearing makeup. Now, I'm not going to be super detailed as to how I apply my false eyelashes because I already went over that in a video. I'll link it above in my cards and down below in my description box. But I do make sure I get the lashes as close to my lash line as possible. I start off by cutting them up in threes and then just sticking them on like a regular eyelash. Okay, so I'm pretty much done with my lashes and it took me about 13 minutes to put these on. And I'm just going to take my spoolie and press the lashes upward so that they're not going downward. I want to make sure I can see them when I look up. You get what I'm saying? So I'm just pushing them up and brushing them out just to make sure they're fluffy. And this is how they look. They look so good. They complement my eyes so much. And they don't look crazy without makeup. So that's how the lashes came out. And I'm going to go ahead and take this head wrap off and get into straightening my hair because um, I gotta finish my hair. I haven't finished it at all. It's been two, three days and I just blew it out and that was it for me because it really be taking me forever to do my hair. Now, if I go to a stylist and they take five hours as a professional to do my hair, how long y'all think it take me to do my hair? <laughs> I be needing a break. I need some days. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just unwrapping it. And then I'm just going to go through and straighten my hair, which might take, I think it took a solid hour and 10 minutes to straighten this unit out. And I'm also going to be chasing this Pure Code Flat Iron with this bristle brush that I got from Sally's. I think it's by the brand Ion, if I'm not mistaken. But I will have everything linked down below for you guys so that it's just easier for you guys to find the items that I'm using in this video. And they are affiliate links, so if you shop through the links, I get a little bit of money. So if you don't want to shop the links just search it by yourself so i got halfway done with straightening my hair and i was like i'm hungry so i grabbed an orange and i'm just gonna snack on that and then get back to my hair because if you get your hair done you know how long it takes to actually do your hair so this is the hair all pressed out and now we're going to move into my light makeup application Moving into the makeup, I'm gonna keep it very, very simple. I'm not even doing my brows, I'm just brushing them up. And if you guys follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you guys have already seen the makeup part of this video. But of course, I'm gonna be explaining it a little bit more here. So I'm going in with the Good Molecules Moisturizing Primer, and I'm just gonna rub this all over my face. I really like this primer because it gives me a good base to work with, and in my opinion, it just makes my face like very smooth. And I also feel like it just fills in my pores, so I really like going in with that primer. Now, before we get into foundation and everything, I like to go in and color correct. And I'm using the Makeup Forever Concealer in 53. This is very, very close to my skin tone. And I like to go up under my eyes where those lines are and brighten those up. And then on the outer corner of my eyes, those are like the darkest parts of my under eyes. So I like to color correct that. And then I like to bring it around my mouth area because those dark lines right there I just like to make sure everything is very very even before I move into foundation or a brightening concealer because if I don't color correct then the foundation looks a little bit ashy it looks a little bit gray because the foundation is trying to cover up the deeper colors in my complexion so I like to just bring everything to one color and then do what I need to do and then I also like to put a little bit of concealer on my eyelids because they are deeper and in my opinion it looks a little bit weird when I don't do this stuff so I like to just put a little bit of concealer on my eyelid area and then I'm just gonna go in and blend it out and you guys will see like everything is gonna come to one color now I don't go in and cover up every single imperfection on my face because I don't think that's needed. Once I hit these three spots, my eyes, my under eyes, and then around my mouth, the foundation usually does everything else. So for foundation, I'm going in with the Makeup Forever Foundation NY545. They have repackaged this foundation and kind of reformulated it. And the colors are a little bit different. 
but this is the one that I currently have and I've been using once I do rematch myself in the new formula I will let you guys know but right now I haven't been able to find a shade that I really like and I'm using the elf buffer brush to apply my foundation and once I get my foundation on this is when you can really tell that the dermaplaning and just the skincare skin prep really does what it needs to do because I don't have to do much when it comes to my makeup like it lays so smooth and it just looks really really good so for concealer I'm going in with the LA girl pro concealer and chestnut and I'm using my beauty blender to apply this as I place it under my eyes I'm just going to keep going back to my hand and picking up a little bit more concealer I don't want to put too too much on because this is like an everyday makeup look I don't I just still want to look like myself but still made up a little bit and then I'll just take the excess and bring it down up under my cheekbone area because that part of my face is naturally lighter so I like to just bring that characteristic back out and then I'm just going to keep blending it out until I feel like it looks really smooth and I don't have any lines of demarcation so to bronze my face I'm taking toffee teas from Fenty Beauty don't remember the name of this brush but I have a whole video on my everyday brushes and this brush is in that video and I'll also try to link it down below for you guys but I'm gonna go in and bronze my cheek area cheekbones of course and then I'm gonna take it up onto my forehead because I like my forehead to be bronzed me personally I just like the way it looks and then I'm also going to take it on my nose area and contour slash bronze my nose and then I'm going to bring it up into my eyelid area just to bring that definition back out how it naturally is so that my eyelid isn't like one complete color. And then I also like to bring the bridge of my nose up into the beginning part of my eyebrow. And then I also like to bronze the tip of my nose because I feel like it makes it look more round. And then right before I pull out my setting powder to set my face, I like to go back to my under eyes and press that area out because sometimes the um, product can move around and crease up so I like to just blend everything out one more time before I go in and set my face with this kit powder is a loose setting powder it is white translucent and it does not flash back at all so I really like using the setting powder to set my under eyes and my entire face moving into powder bronzing I'm using thick mint from Fenty Beauty and I'm going to bronze the same place that I cream bronzer what <laughs> that I cream contour which is my cheekbone area my forehead the bridge of my nose and then eventually I'm going to set my eyelid area moving into blush I'm going to be using Rosie does it from Mac and if you aren't new here y'all have seen this blush in pretty much every single one of my makeup related videos and yeah I I just really like this blush I am looking for like a peachy orangey blush but until then i'm going to be using this one and to apply it i'm using my fenty beauty brush don't remember the name of it but i will try to list it down below or you guys can just check out the brush video now i'm going to go in with my kit cosmetics powder and set my eyelids area and i'm using a little bit of powder because i still want my eyelid skin to look like skin i just don't want it to be super shiny to the point where the product is moving around so i like to go in with a fluffy blending brush and use that and set my eyelids moving into my lip combination i'm just going to dab off the outer perimeter of that lip gloss that i had on and i'm using the la girl eyeliner as a lip liner to line my lips i really really like this as a lip liner so that's what I'm going to continue to use until I find another product. I did come across um, another lip liner. I think I showed you guys in one of my previous videos. The lip liner that I'm talking about was from Julia's Place. And you guys see me use it in my L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable um, Foundation Wear Test. But yeah, I'm not really sure if I like the lip liner because it's either not dark enough or it's just not staying on my lips not sure the lipstick that i'm going to be wearing i mixed two of them i'm wearing sugar kiss from fenty beauty and then i pulled another one i think it's called makeout break or something like that 
and I dabbed that on as well. I don't know why I did that because it really didn't change the color, but y'all know I just be mixing stuff. So I used this one and I just dabbed it in the center and that's going to be my lip combination. So yeah, my lips look really good though. Wow. <laughs> Moving back into my hair, y'all know that I pretty much do my hair myself majority of the time. So I'm gonna go back in and put some curls in this unit. And then I also am going to put some face framing layers in it because I just like the way it looks that way. Instead of the unit being one length, it just makes it look more customized and it just makes it look even more like my hair. And I'm just gonna use the length of my real hair as a guide as to where to start cutting my layers. Now, if you guys are interested in purchasing this unit, all of the links will be down below in my description box. And if I have any coupon codes, I will list them on the screen. But this unit did have a hard time holding a curl. I don't know if it was my doing because I did wash, condition, blow out this hair, kind of burnt it a little bit, <laughs> but not really. Like I could smell it and I was like, okay, I'm using too much heat. And then I went in and straightened and then tried to curl this hair. So maybe it was just too much for this unit. Or maybe this is the type of unit where you use mousse and wear it in a more natural kinky style instead of like using heat um, but yeah this hair when I first curled it it didn't hold the curl it, it held a little bit the ends were still like curled but the curls dropped and y'all know how I like my hair to curl um, I like it to look curled but a little tussled um, but yeah the curls completely fell and then I came back the next day and filmed the ending clip so yeah I did have a time with this hair so yesterday I y'all saw me curl this hair well in the, literally in the last clip y'all saw me um curl this hair and I took the hair down there was no curl in sight so I was like over it and plus the top that I was wearing it wasn't really meshing well I didn't like how it looked so I was just like okay I'm done filming for today so I'm back today and I pinned the hair up and this is like a vibe I want to do like a, a photo shoot with like my hair pinned up like this I just think this is so cute the getting ready process I just think it's a vibe okay focus so yeah the hair has been sitting all day I recurled it I didn't do anything different I probably should have because if this hair does still doesn't hold a curl um it just is what it is <laughs> i still really do like the hair it's so pretty like it blends with my hair so well the color is spot on now i do wear kinky straight hair a lot and it does have a hard time holding a curl and i really don't know the process that kinky straight hair goes through when it comes to creating this texture so maybe that's why it has a hard time holding the curl so i'm not really surprised but then again i'm surprised because when i took this hair down yesterday it was just like i did a blowout and a silk press and just wrapped it oh y'all excuse the tv i meant to say that when i turn on the camera all right hey y'all so it's a couple weeks later i just recurled the hair let it sit for a whole entire day because this is a unit so i can like take it off and put it back on and plus i had to wash my hair so i just took it off wash my hair and and now it's back on so yeah, it's been sitting for a day. Um, the curls dropped really, really nicely, which I like. As long as the hair stays like this, we're fine. So yeah, everything is looking good. I don't know what happened the first time I curled this hair, but y'all, I was so <laughs> I was so irritated. Um, but now we're looking good. Um, I've had this unit for maybe like a month now, and I've been able to like work with it and just see like what I did wrong when I first got this unit. Um, I haven't been wearing it for a whole entire month straight, but I have had this unit for a month, if that makes sense. Y'all know I film hair content, so I'm always like switching out my units every week or every two weeks I'm like switching out my units. So this is how the unit is looking now. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I took y'all to get my pedicure. My toes look really nice. 
my hair looks nice, makeup, skin looks nice, everything just looks really, really good. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have not subscribed already, my face will pop up on the screen and you can just click that and go ahead and subscribe. And then I will also have another video that pops up on the screen. So if you like videos like this or you just want to see what else I do on my channel, check out the video that will pop up on the screen or the playlist. And one more thing, thank you so much Yolisa here for sponsoring today's video and providing this beautiful unit to me. I love y'all again and I will see you guys very, very soon.